Welcome back to our channel, Ebony. I'm Erica. And today we have a favorites video. Can't believe it's August already. But summer is going by so fast. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't have a lot, but it's a good enough for our video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, by the way, and leave any comments if you like it. Um, like the video if you like it. But yeah, um, enough rambling. I'm just going to get on into the video so it won't be too long. All right, so our first favorite, I didn't know we had the same thing. Yeah, we just we didn't show each other our favorites. Yeah. But I really love this palette. It's the NYX Avant Pop Palette right here. And it's an eyeshadow palette and it has like a bunch of like neutral colors, natural colors and colors that you can like, you know, yeah. dress your eyes up for if you're going for a night out. And we got this in the, um, we went to Shameless Maya's B-Day networking celebration. Mm -hmm. And she had this in her little goodie bags for everybody. And yeah, I've been using it ever since. I know, since. the colors are amazing. Like Erica said, you can use it for a night out, but you can also use it for everyday wear. Or you can like do it with like soft glam or something. But the colors work really well with our skin. So I really like it. And then the pigmentation is really nice too. Which I wasn't expecting, but it is very nice. Alright, my next uh, beauty favorite is the Kylie Lip Kit uh, in the color Kristen. And it's just um, like a pretty like... I feel like it's, it's matte and I feel like it's a pretty like everyday wear, everyday color um, for brown skin. So if you're looking for something for everyday for brown skin, um, this is a really good color. I have it on now and I put ColourPop liner, a lip liner under it in K. Um, so to make it darker a little bit. But you can wear it by itself. I wear it by itself. But I was just experimenting today. But um, yeah, I really do like this and I mentioned it in our last vlog. So if you want to go check it out and see how I swatch it, it's there. All right, so we're not going in any particular order for like beauty categories or whatever. So for my next favorite, this is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Why am I late to the game on this hair product? I don't know, but um, it's been around for a while and I've only used it once. Um, when I went to the salon, Lisa used it on my hair and it worked really, really well. And I don't know why, like months later, I decided to get it instead of getting it then. But I really like it. You can use it on wet or dry hair. I've been using it on dry hair because you know we stretch our washes so with my hair towards the end of its um you know looking good life cycle or whatever when it's about to when it needs to get washed you know it tends to get a little tingly when i have to comb it so i like to spray this in there because it detangles um it also adds shine it protects from heat it's a flat iron spray as well um it's a conditioner obviously it prevents split ends um it helps stop breakage and it also provides a little silkiness to it so I'm actually going to wash my hair this week surprise surprise so I'm going to use it on my wet hair before I blow dry so it's a tune all right so my next product is skincare and I have two I have the for the first one I have the Peter Thomas Roth acne clear invisible dots and I got this on a whim when I was in Sephora it's in the checkout line like the get your money line because that's where I always put my money in that line um so yeah I found it it was like I think 12 12 14 bucks I can't remember but you get 24 of these dots and what you do is you put them on your pimples or your um your blemishes and um you put them on overnight and the next morning like you'll come to the white head so like you'll like the white stuff will kind of start coming out yeah. so um it's made with salicylic acid and tea tree oil and they're these clear dots so they say you can wear it under makeup but i don't because you can still see it a little bit but um, some people do it really worked i've been breaking out i think last week i broke out but probably because i'm about to start my period but i use these and they do work and they're really amazing so next time you use sephora check these out because they are really good and next mine is a skincare item too so tiny but it's the kula classic sunscreen and it's for your face i really love sunscreen for my face if you're not using sunscreen for your face i don't know what you're doing with your life but it's really important especially when you go outside um even the summertime or winter time you have to put sunscreen on your face because you have, you have dark spots made from old pimples um, the sun makes them even darker so sunscreen helps the sun from not making them darker as well so yeah and it's just good to keep on your face maybe under makeup or something like that and I feel like it's one of those things that people forget but I really like it I got this in my birch box and birch box is really good at sending um, face sunscreen and they're really tiny but I don't use a lot so they last a long time but yeah so good it was SPF 50 by the way so my face is well protected. Alright, for my last skincare item, I have the Frank Body Original Scrub. This has been around for a while. If you're on Instagram, they always have these cute pictures on Instagram. And I got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. But it is amazing. And I'm so glad I got it because I am going to repurchase this. Um, I use this all over my body. And it's a body scrub. And you can use it on your face as well. 
Um, it, by using my body, it's a little bit harsh, but it's not like the bad kind of harsh where it's stripping away like your oils and stuff. It's the good kind of harsh where you know it's working. But um, yeah, so if you don't want to, I use it on my face and body, and if you don't want to use it on your face because you have mm -hmm. sensitive skin, they do have a, a cheek scrub where it's like a gentle scrub. Um, so I might get that as well because um, it's more targeted toward your cheeks and everything and um, exfoliating your cheeks, cheek area. Um, but yeah, this is a great coffee scrub. It smells really, really good and like I'm almost out of it. So yeah, I will be repurchasing. Right, and next for me, it's a fine perfume oil. So I'm not really into um, perfume oils because they're usually very strong and smell like, you know, the incense type stuff. But this one is nice. It's um, white gardenia and it's from India Arts. And it's a roller ball, so you just roll it on your pressure points here and here and it lasts and I got it from um, I went to a belly dancing class by the way check out our last vlog I went to a belly dancing class with Maite Garcia she's princess ex-wife and she teaches belly dancing and at the end of each class she has a shop set up where you can buy certain things and the proceeds go to her um, rescue because she rescues animals so I saw this and I opened it up to smell it and it smells so good it smells like flowers it does but smell really yeah good. it smells really good and it dry, when it dries, it dries really light and nice. And it, oh my gosh. And it lasts a long time. It smells so good. It's not anything strong or anything, but I really like it. It's India Arts. I don't know if she has it on her website. But um, if she does, I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, it's really good. All right, so for my last favorite, I don't really have much. So this is my last one. It's a fashion favorite. And you guys have seen it. But it is this off the shoulder top, I've worn it in videos, I wore it in a recent video, um, I was going to wear it in this video, but because I wore it in a recent video, I wasn't going to wear it again, um, but yeah, it's been in outfit lookbooks, repeater. yes, I am a serious so outfit quiet. repeater, yeah, um, it's been in everything, lookbooks, pictures, so yeah, and it's going to be in more because I'm going to keep wearing it, and it's just, it's good quality, um, because it wasn't even that expensive, it was from Art and B, they don't have Art and B anymore, um, oh, they don't? Mm -mm. But yeah, this is a good shirt. And I actually have another shirt from there that's actually off the shoulder as well and it's pretty good. But yeah, sorry guys. Don't see that. But yeah, it's a really, really comfortable shirt and you can wear it to the beach. I wear it as a cover-up. I wear it with my high-waisted shorts, skirts, everything. So I love it. Alright, I have two more favorites, so this won't be long. But for this month, Essence Beauty Box came through. If you guys don't know, Essence Beauty Box is a, a subscription box. I have a hard time seeing that. It's a subscription service. It's $15 a month. And each month on your doorstep, you get some really great products. And a lot of their products cater to women of color. So it's really good. And I can use a lot of their stuff. It's a really light. But yeah, their box. I'll do a close-up product shot of them. But this month was amazing. It came with a shower a shave gel so it's a gel where you can shave your legs underarm and bikini area it's from completely bare um pure Elise, which is a really good brand this is a daily lip moisturizer with mango and shea butter and then shiate that's a really good nail polish brand i don't know if you guys heard of it but it's the shiate mini it's in a light blue color i don't know what the shade is chinchilla that's the shade the color is really pretty then i got an eyeliner it's in a deep dark purple from, from Pop Beauty and it's like a Kojai pen. It's a eyeliner in inky purple. And then I got Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel uh, Towelettes for your face. And if you don't know, Witch Hazel is amazing for your face. And then I also got the True by, True by Made Beautiful. It's a nourishing leave-in conditioner and it's got shea, honey, coconut, and mango. And it's for your hair. And I cannot wait to try it. So like I said, I'm going to be washing my hair this week. So I've got some products to try. And yeah, so Essence really was amazing this month. And I cannot wait for next month. And now, Amazon Prime. I just want to show you because the box came in today. But yeah, I got Amazon Prime at the beginning of the month. And um, at the beginning of July, actually. And I got it because I needed something really quick. But I didn't want to pay for... Um, shipping so i was like let me just go ahead and get amazon prime so you can pay the full year or you can pay it by a month by month basis and i pay the nine dollars or some change per month for amazon prime and what they do they give you um shipping options like one day shipping or two day shipping and they're fr and it's free so i got this because okay our blow dryer broke well not really broke but it's crap, crap yeah. yeah so and erica was using yesterday using it yesterday and she was like oh no 
the hair dryer is not going to work. So I, was, I got on Amazon and I was like, let me just find a really good blow dryer real quick because I'm going to wash my hair soon this week as well. And I needed it um, really quick and I didn't have time to go to the store either. So I went on Amazon Prime and I searched through blow dryers and I found one that had five star rating. And so um, I read the reviews as well and they had really good reviews. So I put in the order on Amazon Prime and this morning, what was at my doorstep? This. And it was the blow dryer. It's in here, but yeah. Amazon Prime is amazing. And also you can get movies up there. Uh, some movies are free. And I did some TV shows as well. So if you're on Amazon a lot like me, I mean, I have like, I think within the I'm past like the week. Amazon queen. Yeah, Erica's the Amazon queen. I think I'm following her footsteps. So in the past week, we've had at least four boxes come in of stuff. So yeah, and then we didn't have to wait long for them at all. It's like next day, two day at the most. So Amazon Prime is just, my jam for this month and it's probably gonna be for next month too. That is it for it's all for our favorites. Uh, we didn't have a lot like last time, but um, yeah, we don't really use that much stuff you know, during the months. But yeah, thank you guys for checking out our favorites. I really wanna know what y'all's favorites are. So please comment below what y'all have been using because I like mm -hmm. recommendations from other people as well. Yeah. So yeah, comment down below and we'll check those out and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.